exclusive. I, I, I grew up like a savage. <laughs>do any artists ever is it ever the business like they be like fuck the label bro i just gotta pay you which but i need to pay you for these for this music i mean if if somebody is in that i haven't met somebody in that category or in that for me to be like i'm just gonna pay you niggas that pay me out their pockets just local niggas the, and i was about to say the local niggas don't hit you like have you ever worked with filthy i haven't worked with filthy you said you worked with fab though right? you got an album with fab fab, fab the homie um uh, 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 short, short, short. Dog. Me and short dog close. Do you have tags on those beats? Hmm? Fab, Fab shout me out in the yeah. verse. Yeah, you feel me? So Clyde Carson, Clyde mm-hmm. for sure. That's the homie. Mm-hmm. D Lo, D Lo, D Lo. Yeah, we got a big record coming out. Mm-hmm. Probably my next biggest record. I'm predicting it got Tiger on it again. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> Tiger on there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It got Tiger on it again. For I sure. just said, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with this shit, Corey. I can predict it, man. I got the crystal ball, bro. Yeah. Tiger and G Easy. See? Mm-hmm. And he told he, he told us he told us on the show he had G Easy. He told us on the show he had G Easy. But um Tiger, yeah, Tiger Cold nigga too. You don't fuck with Tiger? Not yet. Not yet. But it's, Kamaya close with him. It's coming. G Easy. Not yet, but that's the first one we did. But he so, liked that beat. For sure. Oh, yeah. Probably gassed that motherfucker, too. Yeah, for sure. He Ain't did. that crazy? G Easy really gassed it, though. Yeah, I'm saying, when Easy really. When he be gassed, on the song man. with all the niggas, it's like kind of like the Eminem shit out here. For when sure. When he be on the song with the niggas he, from the area, he be he whacking down. niggas. <laughs> <laughs> he be whacking them yeah, niggas on the, and they don't want him to be the the, the Bay Area goat or the hype or nothing. The but, great white hype, but but he raw though. He fuck with it though. He fuck with it for him. real. Mm-hmm. Shout out to G Easy. So man. you got that sick with it? Any of them niggas or right? them cats ever got at you? You ain't heard from them boys. E forty. Yeah, mm. any So E forty just hit me. Like mm. me. First okay. time he hit me on Instagram. Like send me a pack. Oh okay. So well, I you know that's going to... Fody for sure going to pick some of that yeah, shit. So that's a fact. Him a pack. Yeah, because Fody fuck with the youngsters. So. Yeah, he going he gonna to love that, that shit. That was too. the next on the list for me is Fody and his whole camp. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And that's going to go. I basically didn't probably been through the Bay so far. Yeah. That's probably everybody big in the Bay that I got. So, I mean, when you say everybody big in the Bay, I mean, you fucked with like... Who big in the Bay? Give me somebody. That's big. Yeah. Fucked with them? Uh... Mm. Any R and B? Um, I mean, not Kalani, not sure. Cause your shit sound. You got some R and B. You got sure. some R and B, nigga. For sure, I do. Like for you sure. got like some of them she tracks. Kamai got, got yeah, yeah, exactly. You got her. For uh, sure, yeah. For sure. About to make love to somebody around this month. Who else doing R and B besides Kalani? Raven, Raven Justice. I mean, we ain't got it yet, in it yet, but we definitely talked before. Okay. Oh, uh, you missing somebody too, though. You said Raymond. It's somebody else. It's another female. Oh, the girl. Valera. Her. her. Oh, her. her. Oh, yeah. She, she, yeah, I ain't touched her yet. <laughs> you got to get her. Y'all yeah, make some cold sure. shit, though. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, because her and shit. Dwayne got ties to her, so I'm, I'm real close with Dwayne. Oh, you close with Dwayne? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good. Yeah, you musical. You got to be yeah. close with that. And y'all niggas be having hit. jam yeah, sessions. Yeah, yeah. 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 He's yeah. still about to hit, man. Hey, hey, you want to tell you something, though? Her? Her and CT? That's, her shit sound like that already. Who, who we producing that? That's good. I'm going to reach out to her and see what's yeah, up. Yeah, that's going to yeah. go crazy right there, bro. I ain't reached out to her Because you got classics. I mean, like, that's you crazy. got classics, bro. Nobody can deny it. Like, for real, okay. I always judge motherfuckers on their work. And I always say, it's some shit you do. Like, literally, bro. Like, you have already put yourself in that. Without, with, with, your, with little notoriety, you have already put yourself in up there with the greats, you know what I'm saying? Because just think about it. If 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 somebody play a Drake set, it's no way you can't. It's no way you not gonna play. Why you always hating? That's right. your beat. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Niggas gonna watch Insecure for every. Them is your songs on there. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like shout out to Kamaya for making them what they was. But it's it's fifty fifty. You know what I'm saying? It's a it's a beautiful thing. But so like that's what they, uh, they put it, they put it on Madden. They put why you always they put it on, on Madden. Madden. Yeah, they put it on Madden. Mm-hmm. And um and I think a lot of people fuck with like you said fuck with it. But like a lot of people, don't, I think a lot of people was confused about Kamaya also. 
Like I think when she came out, she was independent, and then that quick she was four hundred. Mm-hmm. Like I think so when the masses saw her, it seemed like she was four hundred forever. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So she hit me. Um, they flew her out. She hit me like. She came back and she hit me like, I'm not doing this without my producer. Mm. Respect. You feel Respect. me? And that's one thing that we, you feel me, talked about in the beginning was if you if you get on, yeah. we're getting it together. If I get on, we get it together type thing. Right. So that's why money wasn't really a big issue between us because we fucked with each other. So sh- she hit me like, we out. Yeah. They flew us both down. And that night we made 10 songs. And that's how me and me and Kamaya work is. Y'all made ten joints. I I make a beat. She writing, laying the hook down. I'm on to the next beat. By the time she done with that, we load that up. So it's just a cycle. Yeah. For me, in five six hours, we made ten songs. God damn. And that's that's what got assigned. Yeah. That's what got her the deal. They offered her the deal that night. Like we we want you be part of four hundred. Once you once you want. Damn. And it was all. And hit was it thin when they was trying to get you at yeah. that same time? Mm-hmm. For sure. But Damn. then he was like, "Let me holler at the manager." Well, the, the, yeah, the manager, Femi White Lady, she was a little, but she was a little older, so she was like, "Well, let's wait this out." And she set up a whole week in L.A. with all the labels, so we can have options. She was like, "Where your options are? Don't just go." Cause I'm on some street shit, like. The nigga just put Drake on my shit. Right, right, right. How the fuck am I not going to sign with this nigga? Yeah, right. Like, yeah. that'd be against some street code tonight. Right, you like, nigga, I got to do this shit. Like, yeah. what you, like, we argued. You feel yeah. me? I'm like, nigga, I'm not, I don't give a fuck what they offer me. Right. I'm signing with this nigga. Yeah. You feel me? Just on some yeah. some black shit. Like, right, for sure. That you first, me? yeah. You tripping. For sure the black shit first. Like, But she ended up talking me into get setting up all the meetings. and Yeah. Now, how long after that did you get rid of her? Because you said she's no longer your manager. So. Like two years. It's two been years. like two years since. Two she years worth of me. bad decisions. For me, yeah, I think I. Sh- it's I like a bad lawyer, like man, man. <laughs> I mean, you didn't for me, me I you learned. Get, you for me, that really throughout. taught me the different cultures. Like we just different. Mm. For me, shit you do is just not cool where I'm from. That's just what it came down to. Like we clashing, we not understanding. We come from two different planets. Two different planets, like mm. night and mother. How did you meet time. that particular manager? Night. How do you even get a manager? Youth Uprising, huh? So oh youth shit! Uprising, she was the first one to God hire me damn. in the studio. She was managing up there. Oh shit! And she hired. She gave me my first job as an engineer. So it was really on some personal, like, I fuck with she you. She was scouting up there. She you knew she me? was going to catch one you of these. You didn't even look. know they were Hell no, nigga. She caught so a little she, raw she nigga. Never, like. She never managed before. I came at her with it. Because okay. you just needed some help. Because I'm not hella, you feel me, business savvy. savvy right. and she yeah. had shit. Make like, this up for me. So I told her when she left, because she ended up leaving management up there, I said, I'm going to come get you when I do what I'm about to do. And I went and got her. And it was money on the table. Yeah. So for her, it was like... And you needed that white face to go in there and do that talk. That's how I was thinking. Like, yeah. she about to handle the hell out of my business. And them label, them label executives looking at her like, this bitch do not know what she doing. That was the issue. Is that I had basically got somebody that had never did it before. Exactly. So she, she going in there with this white privilege shit mm-hmm. with all these niggas. Mm-hmm. Making she know what she Making doing. me look like a fucking fool. They're like, we about to eat this one a lot. Oh, man. Like, man, who is this bozo, man? This bitch. Maya coming. cussed her out. Well, she wasn't probably a bad looking lady, so she probably. Looked. I mean, she was white. She was cool. In, in her out. world, it worked. Okay. But in the music industry, yeah, I don't that know. was it. There were some people she really clicked with from the label, like white people. But the niggas, they was not feeling her. Like, who this, who she thinks she going to pop is. up with a little. She asking for buku money. Damn. <laughs> like fucking up everything. <laughs>